Good morning, Vlogmas day five. Um, it's like 8.30 and I slept so hard last night. <clears throat> I called my boss last night and told him that uh, I probably would be going to the doctor today and I definitely wouldn't be coming to work. So luckily I didn't have to worry about dealing with that this morning. So I just slept <coughs> and um, I thought Glenn was staying home sick with me today, but he's not here. Um, as a teacher, they have to go in and do their lesson plans, even if they're sick. And so I think that's what he went to do, but um, I'm not sure he's not home yet. So um, our walk-in clinic doesn't open till nine, so and it's not very far away. <clears throat> anyway, um, so as I was falling asleep last night, I had this. Um, I couldn't fall asleep at first, actually. And uh, I've been thinking about making a rag quilt for Glenn for Christmas um, since like yesterday. <laughs> Lots of planning, I know. Because when I made my nephew a quilt last year, um, he really wanted me to make one for our bed, but it was really kind of a pain, so I never did. And I really haven't quilted since then. But those rag quilts, I looked at a tutorial online and they seem easier. What I mean by that is that you piece the front, middle, and back together as a square at one time instead of piecing the entire top and then <clears throat> adding the middle and then adding the back as one whole piece. So it's Instead of like three separate steps, it's kind of one step, but one piece at a time, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm not a pro. I'm not a pro sewer, quilter, anything like that. Um, but it looks doable, and it also looks very forgiving for the seams. I know I saw two recent podcasters had made one. I think it was Tommy Dynamite Trujillo, and the other one was Tiny Human Knits. I know for sure. Um, and I'm sure there's been others, but it just looks super simple and now my dilemma is If I actually do this <clears throat> Would I just use quilt batting for the middle layer or a layer of fleece and I know you can do either um, The difference would be the quilt batting middle uh, Wouldn't fray But I think it'd be okay. I don't know um, These nut jobs Just woke up too <laughs> anyway, let's open some minis. <clears throat> I don't even know, literally, if I have the energy to knit anything today. That is literally how tired I am. I've also completely forgotten which one to open. I think this one. <clears throat> calm down, Cody. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> you see him? He's nuts. Um, I think he really wants to be fed. But I don't know if Glenn already fed him, so I have to wait because I can't get a hold of him. Stop. All right. This is Eternity Ranch Knits called Chestnut Roasting. And there you have it. Brown. Oh, the lighting here isn't great. Um, I actually have natural lighting behind me. <laughs> anyway, oops. It's um, brown and mustard yellow and some green and some natural. It's really pretty. <clears throat> All right, and now um, Stacy's. If I didn't say that was sock yarn swappers, I'm literally so out of it. Uh, but anyway, this one is Stacy of um, Stress Knits. <clears throat> Very, um, excited to see what this one is going to be. <clears throat> I wouldn't be shocked if I don't get this on the end today. Cody, it's mine, not yours. <clears throat> All right. So, let me, there we go. Um, it's a, looks like a very pale pink and a very pale mint. <clears throat> There might be a natural color in there as well, I can't tell. And it's called Winter's Day. Reminds me a lot of just a little bit lighter version of the very first one that I had, 
which was called Ever Peach. <clears throat> Except for that one had like green in it, so this one doesn't have green. Anyway, I'm gonna go get this wound up, and I still need to try and edit yesterday's um, vlog and get that uploaded. And um, hopefully Glenn gets home soon so I can figure out if I'm going to the doctor by myself or with him or what's going on. I have no idea. It is 3.21 p.m. I'm watching a vlogmas and I have knit I think 10 stitches so far today so you can't tell um literally you know it's a bad day when um I can't even knit but Glenn is on his way back from the I can't even think from the pharmacy with medicine good morning vlogmas day six uh, I think I am um, starting to feel just a touch better maybe I slept like crap last night though um, in fact I got up at midnight to take a shower because uh, my whole body itches and that's a problem I have when I take some cold medicine um, so I don't know I didn't take anything over the counter I only took what they prescribed me so I might be having some kind of reaction to that but um, as long as I can live with itching I'm probably okay um, anyway, let's look at our advent minis. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you, um, my sweater. I did, um, Glenn rented two movies yesterday. We watched Detective Pikachu and, uh, I forget what the other one was. Uh, it was one I was not interested in. Um, <clears throat> I can't even think what it's called. It's like, uh, it wasn't King Kong, but it was one of those other ones. Anyway, I'm going to show you my sweater. So oh, there it is. There's how it's looking. Um, this section here is yesterday's color, which was winter's day. And um, so far I feel like it's blending really, really well. Better than I expected. Obviously I didn't know what to expect. Um, I am about, let's see, I th think three quarters of an inch from where I need to be before I can separate from the sleeve. So I'm just about eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Oops, no, that moved. No, I can't tell. This is hard to do through the camera. Um, so, yeah, actually I'm closer to nine. So I have about a half an inch before I can separate for the sleeves. All right, today's minis. I have sock yarn swappers and I have stress knits. We'll do stress knits first today. I'm so curious. This one is like super anxious for every day because I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like in the sweater. Stacy, I got some of your hair. <laughs> All right, this one is called Cheesy Movies. And it is some pinks with neutrally tan kind of colors and some little speckles, looks like. As I said, it's called Cheesy Movies. It's probably a good thing I don't have the Hallmark Channel. I mean, I do kind of enjoy those movies. <clears throat> They're fun. It's nice to have some feel-good movies every now and then. Although, I'm not a super big movie person. Alright, now the next one is by Bridgefield Fiberworks. Called Hot Cocoa. And that definitely looks like some cocoa and marshmallows or um, whipped cream. That sounds so good right now. Mm. 
All right, well, I'm gonna go get that wound up, and uh, I think I actually have a little bit of energy to knit today, so that shouldn't be too bad. Although I am finding that it takes quite a long time to knit up 20 grams. Cody, that's not yours. He's trying to eat the chihuahua food. Um, anyway, like I was saying, it takes quite a long time to knit up 20 grams, so I can see definitely like when I'm back at work, I'll probably have to play a lot of catch up over the weekend. And um, I talked a little bit yesterday about wanting to do a rag quilt for Glenn for Christmas. And I didn't tell him what I was going to make him. I just asked him if he wanted to pick the color or if he wanted me to. And he said he wanted me to, which is not all that helpful. Um, so I don't think I'll be going to Joanne's today, but maybe tomorrow. I think I've figured out how much yardage I need, and it's a lot. Um, I think I need like 15 yards for the front and 15 yards for the back. And then I'm pretty certain that I am going to do the um, quilt batting for the middles. And I reread up on that. And what you do is you just cut that part smaller so it won't actually be outside of the quilt where you would see the fraying. Um, it's a lot of cutting because I think I'm gonna do 10 inch, 10 inch squares and after the seam allowances, they end up being 8 by 8 And if I remember right, I need like 210 um, of everything. So that's 210 times 3, which is 630, if my math is right. So anyway, uh, cutting out scores is not my favorite thing. But we'll see. After getting this one wound up, I have to say it's probably one of my favorites. At least so far. I mean, it's only day six. Um, it kind of reminds me of like cherry blossoms. So it's super pretty and I'm excited to see what it looks like in my sweater. Hello guys, I'm still alive and actually I can hear my voice. It sounds a little better, so that's a good sign. Uh, Glenn is currently at his work Christmas party that I was hoping to be able to go to, but um, I am still just really, really drained and I definitely don't want to get other people sick. So I just finished uh, knitting in day six's mini to my um, go-to Raglan sweater and I've tried it on. So uh, there you go. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's um, mostly it's like what, maybe three or four inches from my belly button right now. Um, it's a little hard to tell. I have separated for the sleeves. Um, it seems like, you know, maybe there will be a lot of fabric under the arm. I don't know, but I don't know. Quite honestly, I think the fit, I think I like it. I mean, it's hard to tell until it's like done. Um, obviously it's not blocked. I've seen some people's neck, neck uh, bands are like much lower than mine. Um, but I'm okay with it. I am gonna set my phone down here for a second and see if I can turn around and show you guys. Um, I'm on the back of the sweater. I don't know what you can see. Hopefully, you see that my stitches haven't fallen off, but I have it on um, the Triton tubing. And uh, yeah, anyway, I think it's good. I'm supposed to knit this to 14 and a half inches, which I'm trying to guess. I'm trying to guess how many minis I'm going to use in this sweater. My current guess, which is not math based at all, is 15. We'll see. So, yeah, I'm super happy with this. I absolutely love the colors. It's so soft and squishy, and I love it. Well, I didn't lose any stitches. Uh, this tried on tubing stuff is amazing. Like, it really, really, really sticks to the tip of the needle. Really good. Really, really, really. Um, here's what the package looks like. I had, I think I found this on Etsy, but I had heard about this stuff for a long time and I've actually owned this tubing for quite some time and I just, really haven't used it so yeah it works that's always a good thing